Make sure they know that up there. Make sure they hear you. We don't have to be in the air for them to hear us. Are we going to make some changes in November? And we take it back public education. Because it's our school and our voice. It has been a galvanizing topic for all facets of society here in North Carolina. Be you Democrat or Republican or unaffiliated, you know, be you businessman or, uh, or uh, government worker, everyone showed up on behalf of their students and carrying the mantle of, we want to march for students and rally for respect with NCAE. And one of the most inspiring things that I saw on May 16th were, were the number of early career educators that, that joined us in that march. We saw people that this was their first job they've ever had, uh, but they knew, they knew that public education should be better than what they're experiencing. So the thousands and thousands of new teachers that marched with us uh, uh, was extremely a moment of pride for me. teachers, listen for what they're asking for. I do not feel educators can afford to live in the community they're teaching. That is an absolute fact. I can't afford to live in the community where I teach without a second income. No one I know can afford to live in, the, in our community. This is what democracy looks like! So this is about the students in Colorado. It's about the teachers that teach those students. Um, so it, I'm excited that we've come together as a whole state to be here today. Somehow we have to come together and I don't care which side you come from, this is not a political issue. For me it's actually becoming a moral issue. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Well, legislators, I want you to listen. Look around, look at all these teachers. You say you believe in us, but show us that you believe in us. Listen to the stories of our students. Listen to the stories of your educators. Just make sure you show them that you value them. I mean, what's our most valuable gift? It's our children. These teachers and their supporters say they mean business when it comes to getting the salary and classroom funding they feel they deserve. No one knows better what our schools and our students need than the educators that work with them every single day. And when we come together in solidarity inside the Arizona Education Association, we have a powerful voice. We saw that with the Red for Ed movement, that they could not ignore us. As we walked out and we marched for our students, we were able to go get the resources that our students need, that we need to be successful. We wouldn't have been able to do that without an organization like AEA to keep all of that together. The future of education is in our hands. The future of education is you. Nobody knows how long the Oklahoma walkout will last, but frustrated teachers in other states have been watching what's happened there. And today, teachers in Kentucky mounted their own mass walkout. I do feel like this is a national movement. 
I feel like education's been undervalued and underpaid for a very long time. And I think there are a lot of eyes on Oklahoma. As North Carolina grapples with whether it will invest in its children's success and this state's future, you are in the fight of your lives. The fight of your lives to ensure your students have the kind of education that inspires their imagination and prepares them to live into their brilliance. They tell us that they can't invest in public schools because they need to give tax breaks to job creators. Well, I don't know about you, but I came to teach. You're looking at the job creator. We are the job creators. We are the job creators.